Hello and welcome back to Visit Falcos. This is the Neil Blackpool Tower. Actually, no, it's not, but you can just see the top of the real one over the top of the hoardings. So this is an update on Talbot Road, Tramway Terminus and Holiday Inn. So that's the Holiday Inn that we're looking at through the, through the railings. And I've got to say, they look like they're cracking on at a pace. And if I remember rightly, this bottom layer here, which is, let me, let me line myself up to the slats, that's it. This bottom layer here that is currently completely see-through is going to be the restaurant, public areas, um, whatnot. So presumably that's all going to be glazed and clad in. And then down at ground floor level is the, when I say ground floor, I mean sort of down here, is the tramway terminus area. It's a little bit difficult to see what we're looking at here because we're very rammed in next to the, next to the construction site because that's where the fence is. But that's the, that's Sainsbury's that you can just see in between, in between the digger and the, the side of the, the wall, you can just see, I think that's Sainsbury's. Yeah, that's Sainsbury's. And the railway station is just, is that white pointed roof, that one, at that side. So that kind of puts you in, in mind of where we are. And we're at the very top gate, at the top of, Oh God, I've forgotten it again. This one. So I thought we'd start up there and then we can do a, we can do a circuit round the site. That's Funny Girls, the, the, the chimney looking thing there. So that's Funny Girls and we've got a bit better view through this gate here. Oh, Blackpool Tower. There you go. Oh, seagulls on parade, look, down there. Can you see them? just above that guy with the helmet on. Bet they're waiting for anything that anybody's gonna give them. They probably know it's snap time. So it's a bit awkward trying to look at what we're looking at through the fence. Um, but, oh, a tram stop, I've just noticed. Right at the back of where the seagulls were, there, is a tram stop. And that's got, um, yeah, that's the way it is. Look, blinking at the side there. Can you see just blinking just above the left hand side of the litter bin? That's an electronic information sign installed by Blackpool Transport, which will give you all your real time updates on travel and whatnot. North Terminus and a swanky new sign, look as well. That's very nice. So the tram lines are all done and ready to roll to the very best of my knowledge and I believe it's already being tested and they've already had trams travelling up Talbot Road. It's a bit awkward trying to trying to film through the fence because it's the, the focal length is picking the fence up. Ooh, it's gone all wobbly again. So that's the that's the building and it's all modular apparently. So the, the bathrooms and things, they, they're delivered and they're just sort of slotted in as a complete unit and then they just couple it up. So the, the outside of it is being clad. Oh, that's a, that looks like it's going to have a fancy swanky pointy end on it, look, at that end, at that far end, which probably mirrors the new Premier Inn at the bottom of... Talbot Road and there you can see the sweeping curve sweeping curve of the tramway I'm sorry about the focus but we're doing the best we can from the other side of the fence and then I believe there's going to be a car park around the empty space and, and presumably at some point so, oh sorry, sorry presumably at some point it's going to be uh, redeveloped I thought he was going through the gate, but he's not. He's pulled up, so we'll we'll crack on. We'll crack on. He's delivering it onto the pavement. What a shame! I thought we were going to get the gates open and then to have a, a look without the without the fencing. 
So this is all, this is all due to be finished. Sort of this, this autumn. I don't know, I've not had any dates yet. Um, but it's a 22 million pound project. You might remember Fine Fair, which was built here in 1974. Wilco closed in April 2020, which I, I've got to say I was quite surprised. I didn't think it was so long ago. And the external demolition of Wilco began on the 10th of September 2020. So between September 2020 and now, they've done all that, which is quite astonishing, really. It's quite some achievement. So they're building a tramway terminus, a holiday inn, offices and shops, and an interchange with Blackpool North and a new underpass to Blackpool North Station. Right, we shall proceed. Sorry. We shall proceed around this corner. So this is the bit where you can't see what they're doing. So this is what it's going to look like when it's finished. So that's, just trying to work out where we are. Right, so that's Talbot Road car park, which is that up there. So that's looking that way. So that's what you will see when you're looking sort of that way across the building. It's very nice. Very nice. <coughs> and this is the other way. <coughs> So where's that? Right, so that's the, the top corner. So you've come out of Sainsbury's. You've come out of Sainsbury's, sort of here. And the railway station is here, down here. So that's looking down Talbot Road, so the sea is that way. And this is the car park on your left. This is where you get the best view from this end. Completely transformed it. I mean, when you think, I think that's the original little bit of double yellow line there that's going round, it's going round there. And when you think that Wilco's was roughly kind of where this fence is, the actual building, that is some transformation already so it'd be interesting to see when it's finished it's a few weeks since we came for a look and i've got to see you can see a difference they're taking this wall down as well at this side which has opened the site up that's made it look better so this at this side at the right hand side is phase one and this is the re reformatted talbot road car park so that was originally the bus station. So this underneath was all open, you might remember. That was the bus station. And then Sainsbury's is phase one. That's the phase one development. So that started um, with demolition in 2009. That seems like ages ago. Can you remember the old um, buildings that were up here? That's made such a difference. It's really, really opened it up and brightened it up. Such a difference. Look at that now, they've taken all that wall down. It's really opened this corner up. And they started on site building Sainsbury's in 2012 and completed it in 2014. I can remember listening to the original presentation about this and what they were going to do and how they were doing it in phases and how long it would take and, and now it's all, it's all being done. It's a busy little corner. And this is phase three. I tell you, it's like one big building site, Blackpool. It's amazing. So this is the old hop in, which is being transformed as part of the phase three development to build 
council officers. And that's the subject of another video, so you need to come back. So we're going to go and have a good look and see what they're doing because it's a while since it's a while since we went and had a look there. This is also part of phase two as well. This is Bickerstaff House, which is the Blackpool Council offices, um, some Lancaster University, Blackpool College, some shops etc so that's a big big office block and then when we get to the top of here you'll see the station so it kind of joins everything up so you'll be able to catch a train to Blackpool get off your train here at the station just across the road And then you'll be able to, oops, thank you. Waving at that man and clouting you. <coughs> and then you'll be able to go under the new underpass. See all the new overhead catenary, this is all new for electric trains. Be able to go under the new underpass, under the hotel and catch your tram and go wherever it is you want to go. Be smart, won't it? I think this is this corner. Yeah, it is. This is this corner in this artist's impression. So I hope you've enjoyed this update video. Um, cracking on a pace. If I remember rightly, it's it's this late summer, early autumn. It's scheduled to be finished. Um, so we we will look forward to what might be one of our last updates before it's actually open. Don't forget, make sure that you're subscribed, make sure that you've hit the little bell for notifications, make sure that you've signed up for your Visit File Coast email newsletter. And we will see you, we will see you in the next video. Coming down, ladies' laundry. Bye for now.